Right now, folks in Hudson dealing with this right here. Scenes like this. Water from Hudson Beach flooding the coastal community. 10 Tampa Bay's Andrea Lyon has been in Hudson and the surrounding Pasco County community throughout this storm. And as she reports, there's a long road ahead. This street in Hudson is one of several areas underwater we've seen today after Hurricane Debbie made its way through and up the coast here. This water actually coming from a canal all the way over there where it's come up and over the seawall there, pushing the boats, the docks closer to homes in the area. And take a look at this video. We've been in the area in Hudson since Sunday afternoon. First, we saw, you know, feet of sand and then the water comes up and over that wall covering this sidewalk. Another place, a low lying intersection, we saw water that blocked off one community uh, vehicles braving this deep water two feet deep at one point. People here saying the flooding getting worse over the last several years. So whenever it rains, whenever they see a tropical storm like this, this is what they deal with. We got some of it in our garage. Um, we thought it was receding. Then we came out again a couple hours later and it was even higher. Yeah. So we're a little concerned with a high tide coming in today. We're going to be watching it closely. The good news here is that homeowners say that this water usually goes down pretty quickly, so they may be dealing with a couple inches more as the high tide comes in, but it should dry up rather quickly as that tide goes out and we don't get any more rain. In Hudson, Andrea Lyon, 10 Tampa Bay.